You start with a search for yourself to try to find out more about yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you were somewhat successful along the way. Yeah. Well, I didn't start it like that in the beginning. I started out I wanted to earn a lot of money. I figured okay. if I had enough money, I was going to cure all my problems. I found that that wasn't true. I earned a fair amount of problems and, or money, and I seemed to have more problems. <laughs> but I, I uh, after you know, working at this for a few years, I decided that you know, the real answer is get to know yourself a little better. Okay. And I don't think you have to go off in the Himalayas and become a guru to... Okay. To what, did, what did you do to learn about yourself? You said you went around as many seminars. I attended as seminars. Okay. I went and listened to different speakers who uh, taught something about the mind. Um, I think the answer is in our mind if we'll start studying and trying to understand our mind. Okay. Let me get with, let me get back to you if I can. What did you learn about Bob Proctor during that study? Well, I learned that the biggest part of me you'll never see. It's non-physical. And uh, what you see here in the physical body is nothing but the physical manifestation of the higher side of my personality. And of course, that's true with you and you know Nancy's on the camera. It's true of everyone. Um, and what we have to study, I think, is how does this non-physical part of my mind work? Uh, what happens when I think? Where do thoughts come from? How was this chair built? Somebody had to think. Thoughts are everywhere. And we pull thoughts into our mind and we build pictures or images in our mind. Okay. What we want to understand is that's a non-physical side of ourself that's doing that. If I can build an image of something in my mind, I'm quite capable of building a physical replica of it in my world. So if I build an image of me as a happy, relaxed person, I can live like that. If I build an image of myself as being prosperous, I can become prosperous. So if we think rich, we will be rich. Is Absolutely. We're already rich, just short of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those of us that like to acquire more money yeah. and or happiness or whatever we, we see success, uh, those of us that want to reach the goals that we've set for ourselves, yeah. we do it first by... Well, the first thing you do is sit down and decide what you want. If it's money you want, how much money? Lots of money. Well, nobody knows how much lots of is. Okay. So you've got to be specific. Okay. You write down on a card exactly what you want. And you carry that card around and read it often. Now, this is what I learned in this book, Think and Grow Rich, and it's what I teach in the seminars. I'll teach people how to set goals. But you decide exactly what you want. And then you start to think. Now, you're going to have thoughts come to your mind of why you can't get it. Mm -hmm. You have the ability in your conscious mind to reject that idea, kick it out of your mind. Thinking of why you can't do something is never going to do you any good. And keep thinking until you start to think of thoughts of how you can do it. And the way will be shown to you. It comes in the form of images in our mind. Think of how you can and not why you can't. Okay. So our first step is to set That's the first goals. step. And think about how we can go about reaching those goals. Exactly. And just think of how you can. Now, I would say even before you get into that, you should get a good book and start to study it. Select a person who is already doing something that you'd like to do. Get to know that person. Mm -hmm. Go to the experts for advice. Don't ask the person next door, your mother, father, brother, or the guy that works beside you, because they don't necessarily know. There's no point in asking a person how to earn a lot of money if they're only earning 10000 a year. They don't know. They knew they'd probably be earning a lot. I it's like, don't fair. go to a sick doctor if you want to get healthy. Okay. So you find someone that you can go to for advice. Get a real good book and lock into that book and start to study it. Like... I've had this one that looks like a Bible, you know. But this is Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. I've been reading this thing now for 23 years. I'll probably read it for another 23 years. I get another good book that I brought over here today. It's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not getting a commission for selling this. The author's mm -hmm. dead now. He's been gone for a couple of years. But Dr. Joseph Murphy wrote this book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And that's probably one of the best books that you're ever going to find because you're going to learn something about your mind when you read this book. Okay. Now, I read a lot of books. I've got probably a thousand books sitting in my den at home in my library. But the one that I carry, I carry it everywhere I go and I read it all the time is Think and Grow Rich. I never stop reading it. If you want another awesome young Les Brown clip, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when Jeff's over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan, where I was operating my business.